Hello there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Waffles the Asian Yenber, and today we are here to answer the question, how many stones are we going to get in this Golden Week celebration and for the Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day celebration? Those two are com kind of combined together because they're overlapping, and so let's get into it. So first, I'll just give you the answer so that you don't have to sit through this whole video. On Global, you can get 521 with stones if you finish every event, 620, or with um, free-to-play, if you got the daily capsule, you can get 623 stones. If you're on JP, you get a little bit less down here because you don't have Extreme Super Battle Road. Free to play is 482. With the capsule, it's 581. Now, if you want to stay to get the details, here they are. So looking at global, first you got your normal logins just starting from 428. That was when the celebration actually started. And the first celebration golden week goes until the 24th. Goku Day logins are going to start on the 7th. So they already started. And they go until the 31st. And you get 13, 14, and 15 stones on those days. Now you'll notice for the daily capsule, I count them for the first login here. So you get up to 81 from Golden Week. But I only count them from the 25th because that's when this one ends and this one begins. So you'll have 21 extra capsule days from just the Goku Gohan and Goten Day. So ultimately, you'll get 145 from the first campaign login if you got the capsule. You get 85 from the second campaign login if you have the capsule. If not, it's 64 and 64. Now, there are some special missions for Golden Week. Of course, you get one stone a day for a while, which is was kind of nice. Uh, you have also clearing any stage 30 times. That's one of your missions you can do. Uh, you'll get two stones for that. If you clear Dokken events, Dokken event, I'm missing a T. Spelling mistakes. It's fine. I can type without seeing it. There you go. Second time. But if you clear a Dokken event five times, you're going to get one stone from that. Two stones from doing 700 stamina. Doing 10 Golden Week missions, you'll get three. Doing 18 Golden Week missions, you get five. Doing all the Golden Week missions, you get five more. Then Goku Day gave you 100 stamina, 200 stamina missions. And then just completing all the Goku Day missions for three. Not too many there. But we get these special Golden Week missions that JP already got as a special fun weekend thing it's got ssj3 go go tanks in the news we don't get it until later on in the month but you'll have about 24 stones from that because it's essentially just going to be the golden week missions uh, i'm assuming so that'll be about 74 total from missions for this month now you got get some new doken events so just clearing those each once it's going to give you a stone on each difficulty for total extreme super battle road you get 70 from the missions so if you beat all the missions and then just clearing each stage once, there's 10 more. So you get 80 from that. The new Infinite Dragon Ball History st stage, you get one for just clearing it once. You get all the way to phase seven. You got four, three, three, two, two, one, and one for each phase. If you happen to clear it with just all the way, you get an extra four. If you clear it with three GT heroes on your team, you get two. Same with Space Traveling Warriors, you get two. If you win within 20 turns, you get another two. And if you clear all those missions, you get one for a total of 28 there. We've also got a battlefield reset, which is 31, just like always. We are getting the SS4 Goku and Vegeta EZA. That's most likely going to be one EZA. It looks like it's going to be. So you'll get 30 stones from that. You got some new EZA arenas. So you'll be able to do first clear as well as also the mission for finishing them and getting their EZA. So that's three for each of those new units for a total of nine there. And of course, we've also got the B-Pan EZA campaign, which is just based on the other EZA campaigns for the LRs. So you get up to 21 from that. Just doing the step one, step two, and step three awakening, normal missions. And then because we're doing it in the campaign, five for each of those as well. We're going to have to suffer through a chain battle. Chain battle missions are all the same. That's 19 right there. We're getting the meat story events. Now, I don't know if that's going to be one or two difficulties. I don't know how many yet. So I just put the one. So that's one stone. And you're going to get the LGE GT missions. If you beat all the stages, that's 14 stones. And if you beat them with each of these special categories, that is going to be another five for each for a total of 49. And we also got our fake top grossing, which was kind of top grossing, but not really. We didn't actually hit it. They just gave us 30 stones. And we also got 10 from just finishing a social media campaign. That's already been in your box. So you should have already picked those up as well as seven from, I think, Luxembourg's top grossing. So that's why you end up with 521 on global, 623 if you got the capsule. Now, for JP, it's basically the same thing. You got the logins here. You get two 
stones same i think i think the same is up here yeah two stones same kind of wall again stuff uh the one big difference is that the goku and gohan and goten day actually ends on the 30th on jp for logins not on the 31st it's a little weird you got your missions basically all the same as before you got your special golden week missions your one stone a day you've got all these special missions so you had a little bit more and you end up with 78 right there then again you got your new doken events you got the story stages for the support memories so you get both difficulties for those for baby saga and black star you don't have those on global so those are jp exclusive as well as the meat stage same thing as before easy arena same thing as before you had a special legendary campaign on jp for lr majin Buu and babidi so you got 30 extra stones from that 10 if you pre-farmed it 20 when you awaken it to an lr b pan easy a all the same idbh all the same you also have 11 from finishing all the missions for Petan Battle. So there's 11, 10 stickers, you get 2. 20 stickers, you get 3. All stickers, you get 5. Just beating one enemy, 1. Battlefield, same thing. SSJ4 Goku, same thing. Chain Battle, same thing. Now, we did not get the top grossing on JP. So you just got the fake top grossing in the final stage. So that's 40 right there. And then the LGE missions for 49. Ending up with a total of 482 and 581 with the capsule. So hopefully that answers the question. This is the first time I'm doing a video like this. So hopefully it's all the calculations are fine. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, we'll find out by the end of the celebration and I'll adjust my calculations. So I want to be doing these a little bit more often because I know that a lot of people are wondering, how am I going to budget? Should I summon on this banner? Should I not? And this kind of gives you a better idea of how much we're actually earning in this campaign. So all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed that and hopefully it helped you. If it did, let me know. And I hope you have a good day, a good week, a good life. Now, goodbye.